Hello, hello everyone. Hope everybody is doing okay. Everybody is safe in their uh, house and taking care of each other. Uh, we just wanted to thank everyone for assisting into uh, the webinar that we just did today, social learning and puppies and how to apply it into the, our dog training. Uh, and well, today we have another announcement that we have already made, but Claudia, as always, uh, wants to give you a little bit of a taste of what it's going to be like. Uh, and really, I just, I don't know, I have this question, which is very weird, because I find that, uh, you know, just sharing some time with a scientist, you come to think about that they're just so obsessed with measuring stuff. Why do, why are these scientists so obsessed? And well, I have a scientist here <laughs> <laughs> that, Claudia, so how was it that you measured? Because <laughs> I, I have to say something. She also measures how many tortillas I can have. And you won't believe how many tortillas a Mexican can eat. Exactly, yes, but I, all in my defense is that uh, Mexicans for thousands of years have eaten t tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell me, Claudia, how did you measure huh, the between do as I do and clicker? How, how did you measure this uh, science stuff? How, okay, how did so that came to be? So when I, um, when I started my career as a scientist, that, during, that was during my PhD, um, I was using the do as I do to measure, <laughs> to study cognitive abilities in dogs, memory, imitation, and many different uh, cognitive traits. And of course, yes, it is true that scientists are uh, obsessed with measuring, but this is the only objective way that we have to study animal behavior and animal cognition. Um, and of course, uh, we have our ways to measure behavior. So what we usually do, for example, is that we create a test situation where we test all of the dogs in the same way, or maybe we give them two treatments. For example, we uh, teach a new behavior with do as I do to a group of dogs, and we teach a new behavior with shaping clicker training, shaping clicker training um, to another group of dogs. And then we measure something. So we have the videos of the test, and we have some very uh, nice and special uh, software that we can run where we put the videos in and we can code, analyze details of the behavior. And from there, we actually do measure the behavior or behavior of variables that we are interested in. And uh, so, as I said in the beginning of my career, I was using the do as I do method for um, testing some cognitive abilities in dogs. But then at the time, um, the that was when a do as I do was already starting to become popular in the dog training community. And so I felt like um, I had the possibility to provide dog trainers some objective measures. Um, we're talking about measurements, you see. See, you see, <laughs> measure, measure, measure. Uh, some objective measures that could actually tell them when it is useful to use this method and when maybe it is not. So that's what we did. And uh, of course, um, the results is what I'm going to explain during the webinar that we will give on the 25th of April. So it turned out that there is a difference between training a dog um, with do as I do or training a dog with shaping and uh, there is a difference in um, well there is a difference in how quickly you can teach a new behavior and there is a difference in the outcome in the learning outcome of the dog so what is the mental representation that the dog forms of the learned behavior we will give all of the details of this study the studies in uh, during the webinar but uh, that's not all, because you will think that uh, since my name is actually really very much associated to do as I do, so whenever, um, whenever do as I do uh, comes, then my name is there. So you will think that I am uh, a fan of do as I do. I do like the method, of course, and I use it for scientific purposes as well. Um, but 
but do as I do has limitations uh, as well, like any other training methods. So what we want to point out during the seminar is also about the limitations, because. We know that there's a lot of discussions uh, going around about do as I do, but I only know those things because people report it to me. Because some uh, dog trainers that I meet or I'm friends with just report, oh, you know, I've seen this comment in this group and I've seen this comment in that group about the video of do as I do or something. But those people that comment n never really come to me with the questions. And this is what I would really like to, that really we can discuss things together. Um, it's not about a fight. It looks like a fight, but it's not that I want to fight. I really want to clarify what we know from science. What do the data show about the limitations and about the advantages of using do as I do? So it's not only about advantages, but we, all, we really want to point out what the real situation is. And uh, so this is what the next seminar is about. I know it's a hot topic, although people never come to me in person. So this is what I want. I want you. I want you that commented videos on somebody else's uh, Facebook private group page, whatever. And uh, maybe it's even a public group, but I'm not really often in Facebook. So I don't see it. That's what I want. I want you to come with your questions and with your comments and maybe actually you're totally right. So we want to point out what the real situation is, what the scientific data show, what we measured, what we cannot measure. And also we can report about our experience of do as I do. And I'm sure that all of the trainers out there that use do as I do um, know about limitations and issues that they might have with the method. So that's what we're going to uh, talk about the real status of, of state of the heart about what we know and about do, training dogs with do as I do and other training methods that rely on individual associative learning. So there's one more thing that we need to say that the next uh, webinar is going to be next weekend. So hurry up subscribing because since we want to keep it as an open discussion so we want people to be active in the seminar and talk and express their concerns doubts comments uh, questions we are not going to have a lot of spots we already have received quite a lot of requests and um, we, we we won't be able to open it to many people because since it's a discussion it uh, it might get to too confusing, too messy. Can get forever. Yes, no. So we really cannot accept too many people. So hurry up. Um, we have received already uh, requests, and today we haven't had the time to uh, to check them. We have we um, we saw the email. So if you have already sent a request How much of does information, it cost? I'm gonna let you know the cost. Um, if you have already asked about the information uh, to receive information. Your email is there. We're going to reply tomorrow because today we didn't have uh, enough time. And I don't know if you can see out there, but we are in Brazil in a little village, and it's we are going to get a tropical storm over here. Uh, over here, yeah. Somewhere is coming over there. So we need to go. Um, we need to go get food before the situation gets to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, crazy with the weather. But um, I think it's just a super, super uh, great opportunity for for even even uh, dog trainers that have gone to your webin uh, to your uh, live seminars. Yeah, of course. Because they still maybe have some questions about of course. this, right? So, some, yeah, some yeah, of yeah. the some of these limitations yeah, that so you don't know how to handle. I want to, you know, I want you to come and say, oh look, I've tried to teach this behavior, but it didn't work, and so on. Um, people asking how much it costs, please send us an email to marco at doasido.it. IT is for Italy. Um, and uh, you will find the event, also the information about the cost and duration and topics of the webinar are in the Facebook event. So you go into the event and you find all of the information about that. Send us an email, we will send detailed information and um, hopefully we'll see you all. I hope you, if, I mean, I hope everybody who is interested will fit in the seminar, but as I said, we won't accept too many people, um, so please hurry up if you're interested. Yes, go everyone, keep safe, we keep will safe. also keep safe here still in Brazil, and uh, Andreita, uh, I can send you the email, uh, 
not today, but I'll send it tomorrow uh, or this evening for you to have uh, all the information. I mean, I think we have all the information in. Yeah, completely. I think that uh, I'm. I'm not sure, but uh, the information in the event is about the duration, the topics, and everything. And uh, I think we have the costs as well. But in any case, if you need additional information, we will write it also when we publish this post. Marco at doasido.it. Remember, we're also going to be talking about misconceptions, right? Oh yeah, misconceptions. That's well. That's that because there's a lot of debate debate about do as I do. The problem is the debate never reaches me. People never uh, come with their ideas, yeah. conceptions, and misconceptions, and maybe they write comments, but they never reach me. So this is the opportunity everybody has to reach um, a scientist who collected some data about do as I do to ask questions and also ask question to uh, Marco and. Fumi, Fumi Higaki, he's an official to SIDU trainer from Japan. Marco is official to SIDU trainer as well from Mexico. So they have extensive experience with to SIDU and they, and they can also answer some questions about the use of to SIDU for training. And again, do not think, but because you might think that since they're to SIDU trainer, they will say that to SIDU is best, it's the best method ever better than anything else that's not what we're gonna say we want to point out what the real situation is mm -hmm. so join us at the webinar 25th of April um, for more information go into the Facebook event and write an email to Marco at do as I do dot it Marco at do as I do dot it see you on the 25th of April that is in one week from now and uh, we we send a big hug to Fumi Ma Fumi is going to also be a lecturer at the webinar that we will give next week but it's really funny now the situation because we are in uh, Brazil and she's in Japan and so we have 24 hours uh, time zone differences but she's so in the she's future. asleep now yeah she's in the future yes she's very advanced <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, goodbye. Uh, keep safe. We'll be in the storm now, getting hopefully some food, otherwise, we will starve. Sí. Vamos a comer. Vamos por más tortillas, ¿no? Más tortillas, so I can measure sí, how many tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> Chao.